What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about Eyeless International, the OTC penny stock that we've been following on this channel for nearly one year. We have seen this go from as low as 4 cents up to all time highs of over 50 cents. In this video I will look at the very latest news and discuss what is happening this weekend, with this weekend being a huge weekend for Eyeless. Why I think this is a great entry point into this stock and what has been going on at the shareholders meeting. Before we get into the video, if you like the content, can I ask you to smash the like button? It really helps me out so much and shows me that you want to see more videos about Eyeless and other stocks that can make big gains just like Eyeless. I'm aiming to get 500 likes and comments on this video, help me make it happen and show your support by commenting Eyeless Army. And if you would like to support my work, check out my Patreon page where you can support my work and get access to when I find these new opportunities. This costs only a fraction of something like Netflix, but could make you a lot of money. As always, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Now let's get into today's video. If you're new to Eyeless International stock, I will do a quick summary of the past year, considering that this is a very special week for the company. It was this week last year that Nick Link took over and Eyeless became, Eyeless became a public multinational M&A investment company focused on innovation and growth by acquiring the Firebug Group, which consists of Firebug and eRaptor. Then in April, Eyeless acquired TVC, the vehicle converters. With this, they now had a company that makes all-terrain utility vehicles, a company that makes a range of fire safety products, and a company specializing in converting all types of vehicles for all types of industries. Straight away it was clear to see that Eyeless New Management had a clear vision and a clear goal and these were quickly followed by the acquisition of BCD Fire. Over the course of the next several months Eyeless had formed strategic partnerships such as the deal with Melanian before the most recent acquisition agreements with Bullhead Products which was recently finalised. Precision Power Products in Houston and a Georgian acquisition have been agreed and Eyeless are in negotiations on several other acquisitions that I have spoke about as recently as last week so I won't go into more detail on this. I just wanted to do a brief summary of how much this company has actually achieved over the past year because I've noticed from comments on StockTwits, Facebook, Twitter that a lot of investors just see that the stock has gone from 1 cent to 50 cents and when it pulled back started calling it a pump and dump which it is clearly not. Eyeless is a real company making real products and real expansion through acquisitions, which leads us on to this week where Eyeless have completed the acquisition of Vera Drones, a European manufacturer of industrial unmanned aerial vehicles for rescue and logistics. Based in Germany and Switzerland, the company's products is a world first in that it delivers the unmanned capability of light helicopters with competitors of this acquisition achieving pre-production valuations of over $1.2 billion. Vera Drones currently creates industrial heavy drones or UAVs for rescue and logistics. Its UAVs can carry loads of up to 1000 kilograms for as long as two hours, making these UAVs a viable unmanned alternative to light helicopters and free of their limitations. Guys, if you already know about the Vera Drones acquisition, don't worry, I won't be looking into this in too much detail. I will be looking at the annual shareholders meeting that took place yesterday very soon so stick around for that. The company is on track to become the world's leading cargo and rescue drone manufacturer and plans to capture a significant share of the light helicopter market in the process which is currently valued at 13 billion dollars per annum. Within this the market for light helicopters used for logistics and rescue is estimated to be between 2 and 3 billion dollars. Vera Drones anticipates that at least 20% and up to 50% of these light helicopters can be replaced by industrial drones, it is expected that the market for UAVs will grow to 1.5 trillion by 2040. The two major competitors of Vera drones in the logistics sector have already achieved valuations of 1.2 and 1.3 billion respectively. Eyeless has acquired Vera drones with the goal of integrating its technology into Eyeless existing and planned emergency response solutions as well as with the upcoming Eyeless acquisitions. The company's specialist drone engine and rotor technology which enables the drones to fly in most weather conditions and achieve up to 4 hours of flight time has been combined with smart cameras and artificial intelligence software. Prior to the agreed acquisition Eyeless had been working with the company to develop this into a practical solution for fire and rescue whereby the drones could be used for early detection of fires and carry on board 
fire extinguishing capabilities that could be deployed in the early stages of fires to extinguish them before they develop further. The firefighting industry is urgently seeking a solution which can detect and combat potential wildfire before it develops. Cost-effective unmanned surveillance combined with IoT technology will play a vital role in the fighting of wildfires in the future. The acquisition of Vera Jones is a giant leap forward for Eyeless in this regard. Eyeless will be energetically pushing forward with the fire and rescue product development of Vera Jones and has several potential customers lined up to commence testing of the technology. Guys, I don't want to spend the whole video talking about this one acquisition, so I'll put a link for this in the description below. This is a very long and detailed press release, but it is really worth looking at. They have discussed loads of things such as how Vera has developed three types of innovative engines, already has customers such as the World Food Program lined up, is partnered with distributors such as Agility Prime, Senator International and Heavy Lift, and details about the product range that Vera has. And even goes on to show that the company is planning a third defense division which will transport supplies and equipment for the military. So this could be a very interesting development. So the first annual Isla shareholders meeting took place in Vegas yesterday evening. I had planned to make a video straight away after the meeting but considering it was nearly 11pm here in Ireland when CEO Nick Link was talking I decided it was too late in the evening to start a video. Anyways, there was a lot discussed at this meeting, starting with the very latest acquisition of Curve XR. This is the VR and AR training company that had been mentioned in recent PRs. So in effect, they have acquired the whole virtual reality division of Take Leap, which Eyeless had a partnership with for months. According to Goldman Sachs, the metaverse industry provides an $8 billion opportunity. Guys, if you enjoy this type of content, please smash the like button, help me hit my targets, and if you're new, consider subscribing to the channel and stay up to date with the very latest information. JB Backwell then went on to talk about other ongoing acquisitions that are in the pipeline, and I will talk more about these in future videos when we know more details. But he also spoke about a partnership with New York-based 911 Inform, which Eyeless will officially announce next week. When I talk about Eyeless, I always state that I trust this management team because everything that they say they are going to do, they then go and do it. There is never a press release of talk about some major acquisition and then we never hear anything more about it. This is a problem with a lot of OTC companies, but not for Eyeless. Go look at OTC Markets News. Every day you will see company after company saying that they are entering into a multi-billion dollar market or are planning to acquire a multi-billion dollar revenue company or that they have achieved multiple times revenue growth. There is a huge spike in price and then nothing happens and the share price plummets again. This doesn't happen at Eyeless. When they announce something, it happens. One of the main things that gets thrown at me when I say that management have lived up to everything that they said they would do is the share structure update. This is the only thing that has not been sorted and for good reason too. There have been issues with this and Nick has been very transparent about this from day one. And Nick again addressed this with an update near the end of yesterday's meeting. They have won their case and they are planning to get the share structure cleaned up as soon as possible. Nick said that they should have this all sorted with the aim of getting the shares under 1 billion within the next month and have this updated on OTC markets. And again Nick stated that a reverse split is not on the agenda at Eyeless but did hint at possibly doing some kind of dividend scheme in future where long term shareholders could potentially convert to preference shares and earn a dividend but said that this is being discussed and might not actually happen. This is just an idea at this stage. So guys, that brings us to the end of the video. If you appreciate this type of content, please smash the like button and help me grow this channel. Drop a comment and let me know what you think of Eyeless right now and check out my Patreon page where I'm bringing you the latest stock ideas that I believe will make big gains this year. This is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. I highly recommend investing only money that you can afford to and always do your own due diligence when investing. If you're new, subscribe, turn on notifications and I'll catch you in the next one.